Hi, I'm Oliver, age 24, and I will teach you how to draw. <laughs> oh, that's the theme song. Today, I'm going to be drawing the main character from a brand new film called King Kong, which is a documentary about the life and death of Harambe. Now, obviously, Harambe only died last year in the celebrity side of 2016, so it seems a little bit poor taste to have made a film about him already. But hey, who am I to judge? Let's draw. First of all, you're going to want to draw his face, which is the shape of a squircle, which is a cross between a square and a circle. And we call that squircling, naturally. Next, we're going to draw the eyes. Obviously, you want to do one big round eye and one slightly smaller squashed eye for a 3D Harambe effect. Next, we can draw the mouth, which is very similar to a human mouth. So obviously, you want to do more teeth on the top and less teeth on the bottom. Now, Harambe in the film is played by Emma Watson, and everybody's saying that it's her sexiest role since Harry Potter and the Floppy Wand, which is my favourite of the Harry Potter films. Let's colour in Harambe's face. So first of all, you're going to want to take a 3D Haram Grey, for the skin, and a darker 3D Haram Grey for the inside the head look inside his mouth. Next, we can do something brand new. We're actually going to swap out our drawing brush for a Haram brush, which can be found in all professional drawing programs. So if yours doesn't have it, you need to get with the times, grandad. Anyway, what it does is instead of drawing normal lines, it uses advanced 3D modeling projection technology to convert your drawing line into Harambe's hair. What a time to be alive. So as you can see, I'm just drawing the shape of a gorilla which, believe it or not, is quite similar to the shape of a small child, except huge, because he's the biggest fucking gorilla of all time. And I'm not even playing, he's literally massive. Too big, some might say. But what can you do? It's now time to crack out the six packing technique to add six packs onto Harambe's chest. Because Harambe lifts. Now that looks fantastic. It's almost realistic enough to bring him back to life. Hmm, I wonder if that would also work on my YouTube channel. Ha ha ha. Too real. Next, we're going to draw the small child who murdered Harambe. Humans are the worst. So you're going to want to draw a head shape and then one eye big and round and the other eye slightly smaller and squashed. And then we're going to draw his mouth. Obviously, you want to do detailed top teeth and less detailed bottom teeth. Now we can take a 3D skin colour for the skin and a darker 3D skin colour for the inside the head look inside the mouth. Following that, you just want to scraggle a little bit of hair onto the kid's head. Obviously, don't go too overboard because the kid isn't as hairy as Harambe. And speaking of things that are hairy, look at this picture of Robin Williams. Unrelated? No, because he's also dead. On a lighter note, let's draw the kid's body, which is the shape of a small child. Now, I'm a little bit worried that the comments on this video are going to all be the Harambe meme is dead, to which I will respond, no, you are, and so is your face. Next, we can add some clothes to the child, which is important if you don't want to go to jail for being a pedo. Or a pedo, 
as the Americans would say. Now, you may be wondering, why is Harambe the same size as a small child? I've seen King Kong, he was massive! So what we're gonna do is use the small-ing technique to make the child as small as a blueberry within Harambe's hand. Now, we can finish this drawing off by adding one of the most famous scenes from King Kong. That's right, I'm talking about the bit where he climbs up the Eiffel Tower. Classic. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to draw the Eiffel Tower, because unless you're a professional 3D architecture engineer person like me, you probably won't understand the subtle complexities that go into drawing a realistic 4D building. And there you have it, a masterful piece of artwork. Now, I'm just going to add Harambe's catchphrase into a speech bubble. And if you've seen the film, you'll know that it is Dick's Out. Ha 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 ha! Ah, classic Harambe. Now, all that's left is my name and age. The true mark of a warrior. I mean, artist. Now, today's fan art drawings from you guys comes from Rachel, age 15. As you can see, the picture on the left is before she started following my tutorials, and the picture on the right is afterwards. And I think that this proves, even if you draw like absolute trash, there's still hope that just like Rachel, you can become a professional artist. Fantastic. So, email your artwork in if you'd like to be featured in the next episode. Please leave a comment if there's anything that you are struggling to draw. And I, your senpei, will teach you. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.